Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. I double click on default.html page. I right click on default.html page open with the notepad. In the previous tutorial, we understood types of buttons that we can be able to create in HTML. Submit button, reset button, image button, normal button. Also, we understood what is the difference between all those buttons. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss how you can control the submission. Let's discuss about it. You can see we have method set to post. We know that in the post method, we can't see query string. Let me minimize. Just think that user has not given few informations. He has not entered the username. He didn't enter the password. He didn't enter the confirm password. He has not given his address. And if he clicks on a submit button, you can see that form is submitted to the processing page. And as we are in post method, we can't see the query string. Let me go back to see the query string. I change this to get 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 file save go to browser refresh and now if I submit we can be able to see the query string we know that query string is list of key value pairs separated by ampersand and also you can see txt username equal to there is no value we have ampersand pwd user user password is no value password confirm or confirm password also don't have any value this is a wrong way right user must and should give his username password confirm password and address then only the form should get submit to control the form submission to tell to the user that these are the controls which are required controls you must and should give value to these controls these controls should not be empty how we are going to do that by using an attribute called as required here for txt username i add an attribute called as required and then if I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. This time, if I try to submit this form, if I click on the submit button, you can see that the text box is highlighted in red color and it has displayed. You have to give value to this control. Let me click on submit button. Okay. It is telling, please fill out this field because of the required attribute. Now, if I give M A N J U Manju value, now according to the form, we have followed the rule. If I click on the submit, you can see that form got submitted and TXT username value is Manju. Similarly, I can tell for these two text boxes also required. Here I say R E Q U I R E D required. Here I say R E Q U I R E D required. Now, user must and should enter the values for these three controls otherwise form won't get submit save let's see now here anyhow txt username is set to manju and i try to submit now if i say submit now we have these two text boxes are highlighted and it is telling to us please fill out this field it is going to tell automatically browser is giving a small tool tip and telling to the user that please fill out this field let's take i give password m a n j u manju and I again click on submit button. It is telling please fill out this field. I give that also M I N J U Manju. And now we have given values to all required fields. If I click on the submit button, form got submitted and you can see TXT username is Manju. User password is Manju. Confirm password is Manju. Everything is filled properly except TXT address, right? There is no value I'm getting from the user TXT address. SLCT qualification is U, you can see. So I should tell to the user that TXT address also mandatory. What I do, I go to text area and right here, you have to give address. So I say here also required. Then I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. I give this time all values. Manju is there here. I give password Manju. I say confirm password also Manju. And this time if I try to submit, it is going to tell, please fill out this field. User must and should give some value here, Hyderabad. This time we have filled all the required fields. That means we have given value to all required fields. Now the system don't have any problem. If I click on submit, form got submitted. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. Hope you guys have understood the importance of required attribute, how it helps you 
to control the submission or form submission for this tutorial this much is enough guys for more benefits please subscribe like comment and share see you in the next tutorial keep learning keep coding keep sharing